Hey everybody, so I've gotten um, some requests to do this video, and um, this is a perfume collection video, and I personally don't have um, a ton of perfume. To me, I think this is a little much, and um, honestly, like, this is perfume that I've purchased over the last, like, two years, and I don't wear um, one particular scent every day. I like to mix it up, like, one scent I wear just for school, some I wear when I go out. So, um, and then I have like two body mists that I put in this video that I wear a lot because I just wanted to have like a little bit of variety. So, um, this is just a perfume of my own and I was just going to get started and show you guys. I hope you're all having a good week. I know it's so early, but I'm already ready for Friday and I bet you guys are too. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, this is the first perfume that I have and it's kind of dirty because I've had it for a while and I've used pretty much all of it. Um, this is... Ralph, I know it's Ralph Lauren, and it's just called Ralph Lauren Blue, and the top looks like that. It's just got the RL, looks like monogramming, and it smells so good. It kind of reminds me of the way Gardenia smell, if any of you know how Gardenia smells. This is exactly um, kind of what it smells like. It's really sweet. Um, it's not really musky. It's just really sweet. It's got like a definite kind of floral tinge to it so I think that's that's why I say gardening is because it smells very strongly of it when I say strongly I mean like you could definitely smell this um when I wear this people ask me what I wear because it smells good and because it is noticeable so a little bit of this goes a long way this is definitely a perfume to use sparingly but I've had this perfume for a long time so I'm and this can't this is um 2.5 fluid ounces so this was quite a lot and it comes in this bottle and uh, you know as you can see I've used a lot so I've had it for a while but it's a really good perfume it smells amazing and um, on a scale of like 1 to 10 I would give this about a 6 just because it's really sweet and I would say if you want like a really girly florally scent with this is the perfume for you so this is the Ralph Lauren Blue perfume Okay, the next perfume I have is, um, so you might think this is silly, but um, this is from Hollister, and uh, it just, the bottle's really pretty. I actually am in love with this bottle, and it looks kind of bubbly, because, um, I don't know if you can see, like, the little floral detailing. It's like frosted glass where the little flowers are, and it comes in this bulb, which I think is so cute, because this is how, like, a lot of older perfume bottles, they came in little bulbs like this. And um, it really is cute, and it had like this little beaded bracelet around it, but I took it off and wore it. Um, and this is called Ryder, R-Y-D-E-R, -E and um, they probably, they I got this one for Christmas um, a, like a year ago, so it's probably going to have different packaging now, or they might not even sell the scent anymore. But Hollister always has really good perfume, um, and this is in 1.7 fluid ounces. And I've had this for a while, but as you can see, you know, I have yet to use it all. I'm really like sparing with my perfume. I don't like to just douse myself with it because I want to make it last. And perfume is expensive. And this was a, I'm sorry, I, I knew I should have told you price. This was about $50. Um, it is an expensive, more expensive perfume, but again, you know, it smells really nice and you pay for your quality. And that's 2.5 fluid ounces. This is 1.7 and it just came from Hollister. And this was about 20 to $30. I think that's what their perfumes run now. Um, the smaller bottles are probably like 30 bigger ones are probably 40 so um but yeah this is a really musk not really it's kind of musky um you know all Hollister perfume is going to kind of remind you of the beach because it is Hollister you know California that's the brand um it's got a little bit of floral scents in it but they're overpowered a bit by it's like they put floral in it and they put something to make it a little musky so it smells kind of like the beach so and the beachy scent kind of overpowers it um on a scale of one to ten i would give this about a four um just because i don't use it a lot for one it smells good but it doesn't last all day like you spray the scent and it's not going to last all day it's not a very strong perfume um it does smell good but it kind of smells like a ton of people, you know what I mean? I know so many people that buy Hollister perfume, and you don't want to get a perfume to smell like everyone. It does smell good, but um, I give it a four just because, you know, you want your 
you want to smell original, you don't want to smell like, you know, everyone else. So that's kind of why I give it a four. Okay, the next perfume, and I know some of you are going to laugh about this one, but I got this when, when I got this perfume, I was going through a phase where I wanted like a really cotton candy smelling, really sweet, like sickly sweet. That's the perfume I liked then. I don't know why. I think I was like a little bit younger. But this definitely is sickly sweet. Um, I've used about half of it because I've had it for so long. And uh, this is Fantasy by Britney Spears, and this is 1.7 fluid ounces. This is the same size as this. Now, I don't know how that is, but this is, they're both 1.7. And I think this is because this bottle is like super thick, so it makes you think you're getting like a huge vast amount of quantity. You're really not. Like, you get just as much as this. Um, and it's really sweet. It does smell like cotton candy. And uh, I, I use this kind of in the winter time because it's such a sweet scent that the summer, like the heat and stuff, just does not do well with this perfume. It just makes it too overpowering. So I spray this sparingly in the winter every once in a while if I want going out or something. I will spray this. Um, if I'm going, if I'm going somewhere where I don't want to use my nicer perfume, I'll spray this. If I'm going somewhere like really fancy, I will spray this. On this year. And so then um, this is something I'd use like I was maybe going out with my friends or if it was somewhere on the like somewhere going out somewhere at night or um, yeah. But I mean it does it does smell good. Uh, so I give this I give it a I give it a, oh I have to rank it lower than the Hollister perfume. So I get like a three because it's so sweet and I don't wear it much anymore. I used to wear it a ton, but. I do not wear it much anymore, so it's a three. But if you really like a sweet, super strong scent, then this is a perfume for you. And if you like a beachy scent um, that smells, you know, kind of clean, this is the perfume, clean but musky, this is the perfume for you. And next is the perfume that I, do I adore and I love and I wear every day, and I can't wait to repurchase it, but hopefully I won't have to for a while. This is my Juicy Couture perfume. And it's so cute. And this was in my uh, summer haul that I did. And this is one fluid ounce. But, I mean, I don't know. It looks like just as much, even though it's not. <laughs> but it is one fluid ounce. And, um, yeah, it, this is Viva La Juicy. And uh, it smells so good. It smells, like, deep. It smells, like, strong, but deep. That doesn't make any sense. It's like a deep smell. It's kind of strong. It's a little florally. And some people say it reminds me of summer, but it does not remind me of summer. It just reminds me of like girly and a perfume that like, like this reminds me of perfume like a middle schooler would wear. It's so sweet, you know, it's super girly. And this reminds me of a perfume that maybe a high school or a college student wear, even an adult, because it's just a clean, it's like a more sophisticated smell. And I love that. Um, so yeah, I give this an eight. Eight because it smells amazing. The only reason I give it an eight is because it's not that much of it, and I wish I'd bought the big bottle. But this was forty-five dollars. I didn't name the price on this, and this was about forty-five when I got it. So um, it may be lower now, but this was forty-five when I got it. Again, they come in. This comes in a mini sample. I know, like the mini bottle. And I know this does too. This also comes in like the roll-on, which is great to get and have in your purse. And I'm thinking about getting that next time I make a shopping trip, um, which is very rare because I live in such a small town. But, um, yeah, this is amazing, and I think the bow is so cute. Like, the packaging is adorable, and I love it. Okay, so next, uh, oh, well, I'm going to do this mini sample first. Okay, here's the deal with this perfume. My aunt had this perfume, and it is Angel by Terry Mugler, if that's how you pronounce her last name, Mugler. And it's not Angel by Victoria's Secret, and it's an amazing scent, but, um, as like kind of a little gift, she bought me like a pack of, she got them off eBay, of like a pack, like three or four of these little ones. And this is like, this was about a year and a half ago. So I've gone through, and this is my last one, and look how much I have left. And the reason why she did is because I didn't want to invest in the full bottle because they only sell it at like, they only sell it at like Nordstrom, they only sell it at like higher end stores, and um, this you can get anywhere at Ulta, as well as this, and as Hollister, you can only get it at Hollister. Um, I'm not sure where you can get this, if they even sell it anymore. I don't know if this was limited edition because I got it so long ago. But, um, anyway, I'll have, to, I'll have to look that up. And, um, anyway, so the full bottle is kind of pricier, too. It's like $80. 
So I didn't want to pay that. He's like, just give me samples. So what she did, and and it's it's the strongest smell, and it's very musky, but it's it's a very heavy musky scent, but it stays on you the entire day. This stays on me the entire day, just because my natural scent isn't as over. Bearing. Now, these do not stay on me the entire day. So, I think it's just like, it's, it's kind of like whatever your natural, not like a weird smell, but whatever your natural body fragrance is, different perfumes are going to lay on your skin better and they're going to sink into your skin and mix with your natural scent. It's going to smell better to others and to you and it's going to last longer. So, this is really good and I just found that this was too musky for me after I'd gone through a few sample bottles. I'm glad I did not invest in the big one because it's too musky for me. It's really heavy but it does smell really good it is amazing and I only use this every blue moon like every once in a while I'll use this because I just like the scent um, but it's so strong that I can't wear it all the time and uh, it is a really good scent though and I remember when I would have PE like I would put this on in the morning and when I would have to dress out for PE and wrap my clothes back on I could still smell it like really strongly and it my perfume didn't wear off so two or three skirts of this and you're good to go all day so I'm going to hurry up and quickly do the two body mists that I have that I'm in love with. This is the body mist. This is Twilight Woods from Bath and Body Works. And I got this for Christmas last year. And this is 8 fluid ounces. And this was only $12. And Twilight Woods is a, it's an amazing scent. Uh, I have the shower gel, the lotion. I have the lotion right here. Lotion. And uh, it came out about the time Twilight came out or New Moon? I can't really remember, but uh, it definitely does smell really good. It's kind of got like a tiny hint of grape, and I don't know why I say that, but it's got like a woodsy smell, and it's got like a tiny, it's like an unknown scent you can't really catch, but to me it smells kind of grapey, but it's not like when you spray it grape. It's just like woodsy and really musky, and it's, it's really good. For somebody who doesn't like really musky scents, I should have a lot of them. Um, I really love that. And then this is also the Fresh Vanilla Bath and Body Works Pleasures. And this was $10. And this is their old packaging, but I got it on sale. So it was like $10 regular. Got it, and then I got it on sale for like 5 And I've used a lot. I use this kind of as like a room spray and a body mist. Like if I get out of the shower. Because um, here's a tip, girls. Guys are really like attracted to warm smells. Like really attracted. This is a warm smell and this is a warm smell. So if you want to get like a body mist, guys love the, the scent of vanilla. That is the top scent that guys love because I just read that the other day in a magazine. I can't remember which. And I read it online too. I went and looked it up again. Um, so this is definitely like a good scent to have, you know, before you go on a date, kind of spritz it on you. And it's it's straight vanilla. It's fresh vanilla. It smells like vanilla extract and sugar swirled in a bottle. It's amazing. It smells good. And um, I know my boyfriend likes the smell of vanilla. And most guys do they love those warm smells that kind of remind them of like baking and stuff they don't want you to smell like a cookie but it smells like vanilla that's awesome so there's a little tip for you guys so that is the perfume collection with two featured body mists i do have a lot more body mists but i'm not going to bring them all out because it's, it's like a good little bit so um but anyway those are my favorites and i hope this video entertained and helped you guys i hope you have a good day and uh please subscribe bye <laughs> Well, please subscribe down there, not... Okay, bye!